everyone. Hello. All set. My name is Spencer. And I'm Camden. And, and we're, we're the, the Miller, Miller Brothers. Brothers. <laughs> we had a totally stable and comfortable childhood on the East Coast, just outside of Washington, D.C. We always did things together. We never took things too seriously. And most importantly, we always brought this bad boy along to document everything. We actually upgraded to this, but a camera in general. We lived the middle class American dream, and we're taught that success meant one day recreating this for ourselves. Until 2016, when our family separated and our parents divorced after 26 years of marriage. This sent each of us in totally different trajectories. My sister moved to England, I moved to Bozeman, Montana, and I moved overseas to Australia. We were stuck in different worlds, between the weight of our family troubles and the pressure of a future that didn't quite excite us. I was about to start film school right here at MSU. And I was about to finish my engineering degree down in Colorado. We were just doing what we were supposed to, right? We needed to find purpose, so we came up with a plan. Meet Lars, our third brother who spends more time in the shop than on the road. Our grandpa bought him for us for only $700, and we spent the next few years restoring it together. But we had always been terrified to use him to his true purpose because of his breakdowns and inconsistencies. But times were changing. So we moved out of our apartments and into the van for three full months on the road. We had absolutely no plans, no itinerary, and no deadlines. It was just us, our van, and the open road. And of course, we brought a camera along. It was time for us to break out of our comfort zones. The first few days on the road were full of lessons as we quickly adapted to this totally new lifestyle. Where do we sleep? How the heck do we shower? How do we coexist together in such a small space? Very, very, Trust very, us, very, very small. small. <laughs> we also learned a lot of lessons about ourselves on this journey. How to appreciate the simple things in life how to meet and be inspired by total strangers. And most importantly, something we still practice today, how to rediscover our, pa our passion for living. But our biggest lessons of all were taught by Lars himself. He quickly showed us that no amount of planning and no amount of logistics could really control the adventure. He always had a mind of his own. We spent countless hours working on Lars as we practically dragged it with us across the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> Some absolutely amazing results came of this, however. We were blown away by the generosity of complete strangers when times were rough. Meet the Mack family, a couple of Volkswagen nuts living in Pinedale, Wyoming, who took us in and helped us fix our clutch on their garage floor after blowing it up in the Tetons. With all of these car troubles, we were pretty nervous to head out into the unforgiving desert. We began to question if Lars and even ourselves were cut out for a journey of this size. But we went anyways, simply trusting in ourselves. Even though our travels were full of hardships, they were way more full of beauty. We felt like we were no longer running away from our problems, but rather chasing the feeling of something way more powerful the feeling of forging our own path in life. And doing it our own way. Together, we were quickly covering ground in the West. We had conquered the Rocky Mountains and enjoyed the solitude of the desert. And then we pushed onwards towards the ocean. And like most of us in this room, being from the Rocky Mountains, going to the ocean is a rare treat and a huge milestone for uh, our trusty Lars here. By the time we had surpassed our first 5,000 miles on the road, we were feeling extremely grateful for the opportunity to go on this trip. We began to think about all the people who made it possible in the first place. So we took Lars home to southwest Washington, a small town called Chehalis. Bringing Lars home to our grandpa put a tear in his eyes and our own. We shared countless stories from the road including all the beautiful places, the inspiring people, and all the breakdowns that really couldn't stop us. He was very proud. When we left our grandparents, we decided it was time to spend some time north of the, north of the border. We headed to the magical Canadian Rockies. There we saw more beautiful places like this, Jasper National Park, and met more incredible people like some other fellow Volkswagen friends 
that taught us the power of this mobile lifestyle. But sooner, rather than later, the trip was supposed to end, right? As surreal as it was, I dropped Camden off right here in Bozeman before driving back down to Boulder by myself. It was time for us to sadly return back to our realities and go to school. <laughs> All of a sudden, we were thrust back into a reality that didn't quite make us happy. We had fallen right big back into our comfort zones, that same comfort zone that we worked all summer to break out of. So we had to push back. How do we combat this? Naturally, we rebuilt a second van together. <laughs> we named it Stratus, and then we met up for Thanksgiving in the Tetons, where we camped in sub-zero temperatures for five days. On this short but sweet trip, we were overwhelmed by reminders of the road. Memories and experience flooded our minds in conversation. We both knew exactly what we had to do. I left film school after only one semester. <laughs> and I didn't submit any job applications after finishing my degree. Instead of following the path that society had set out for us, we decided to continue creating our own. One outside of the comfort zone. Today, we live side by side in our vans and produce videos professionally for a living. Greatest of all, a documentary sharing the story that we've told all of you tonight. This story has truly been a lifetime in the making, and we want to thank each and every one of you for coming out here tonight and being a part of it. Keep an eye out for our first feature-length film called The Comfort Zone. Thank, thank you. you, everybody.